welcome to Rehab at Home from Adele. In this series, we will show you some simple activities you can do at home to help your child with their listening and speaking. Today, Jessica and her mum are making faces from Play-Doh. Jessica has to listen to her mum's instructions about how to make the hair, ears, and other parts of the face. Let's see how it works. So let's roll it. We'll make some nice long curly bits of hair for this girl. And after we've done the hair, I think it's very important that we give her some ears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can make her some little ears. So I'm going to make this girl's long curly hair like that. And I'm going to put this long curly hair here. Should we make a long, thin mouth? Yes? Okay, now, how about for the long, thin mouth, should we roll it like a little worm? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you have that bit. <laughs> okay, you roll it, make a nice, long, thin mouth. And should we make, a, make it a long, thin, happy, smiley mouth? Mm-hmm. That looks like it's going to be a nice, big, happy, smiley mouse. And then after that, can you get some green Play-Doh mm -hmm. and make some green ears for me, please? Okay. Ooh, that's it. Let's make some little green ears. Mm -hmm. Jessica made a Play-Doh face by listening to her mum's instructions. Sometimes her mum highlighted the important words in the instructions, such as, can you make some small green ears, to make the keywords easier to understand. This is an example of acoustic highlighting. Depending on your child's listening skills, they may need this additional cue to help them to identify the important words in the instructions. As your child's listening skills improve, reduce how much you emphasise the keywords. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the MedL blog to get all the latest Rehab at Home videos straight to your inbox.